Welcome back everyone, Jim here. Um, well this is a change. Uh, had so many interruptions this summer out to camp trying to do a build uh, from my motorcycle, carburetor going to hell, uh, having to take a two-week hiatus to South Carolina. Uh, just, just a whole bunch of interruptions to keep me from staying focused on building the new camp. This is another item taking my focus away. We have another RV that we use for traveling around the state of Maine. And what happened recently is when I, uh, this, this spring, when I opened the camper up, like many people with RVs do, I had to flush the lines, open the gas, get everything working in it again so we could go camping someplace, the water heater failed. Probably one of my least favorite jobs. Uh, so anyway, what I have in front of me is the new water heater. And I just wanted to show you unboxing it. Now this, this water heater came from uh, UnitedRV.com. And it's a little pricey. It cost me just over $400. Uh, I'll put uh, their website uh, on the video. So anyway, I'm doing an unboxing. Uh, and after the unboxing, I'll have a video that shows the installation. But I want to see what this what this thing looks like, see how well they packed it. The box looks pretty huge, but it's really not that big. It's about 18 inches wide, two foot long, and about 19 inches tall. It looks like they have sufficient packing, and I don't know how they do this. I guess they blow it in somehow, or, but uh, you can see there's an awful lot of foam on the top. Foam on both ends. So when I actually get down to the water heater, it takes up a small part of this uh, this whole endeavor. This goes around the water heater. Now I can see uh, the packing was pretty good, but nevertheless, I can see where the insulation that covers the water heater is already cracking away. So I'll have to be careful with that. I'll have to be careful with that. So let me, uh, I'm going to cut down the sides of the box. So that you can see what it looks like sitting here. Better. I've been cutting everything with it this morning, so it's getting pretty dull. And that's what it looks like sitting there. I'm going to pan down a little bit. Now what I was talking about was it's got this styrofoam, two-piece styrofoam that goes around it and right in the top here it's cracked about six inches back but uh, that shouldn't bother me. I'll put a little packing tape on it that'll help to hold that a little better. But uh, this is all to help keep the water hot. Now I would say it looks pretty good. Okay, as you can see, the styrofoam goes all around the tank. It actually sets on the bottom the bottom, there's a, there's a uh, base in the camper and this just sets right on the base. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the water heater. 
And just so you can see, that's the front there. Uh, it doesn't look too terribly complicated, but uh, hey, we'll see when we get there. This is the uh, Suburban uh, water heater. It goes in my 2006 KZ Camper. It's a, the model is an SW 6 D E. It should be an exact replacement. So anyway, as far as the packing, like I said, I noticed there's one crack in the top. Other than that, looks like it's uh, survived the trip pretty good. So, it's a short video. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to record the unboxing. Uh, thank you very much. And among the next videos, we'll be installing this bad boy. Thanks again. Please stay tuned.